Good morning, guys. Um, welcome to a new vlog. Uh, it is Tuesday, June 4th. It's been a little while, I think at least a couple of weeks since we had a vlog, so felt like uh, this was a good time to go ahead and make another one. Uh, all through the end of last year and the start of this year, I have just been like up to wherever, <laughs> barely able to kind of keep my head above water with the amount of client work that I had, which is a great problem to have. Um, and I, I can't remember if, if I've mentioned this in the video or not before, but uh, just like as of, as of the end of May, I think I still have some outstanding things that I have invoiced for that haven't come in yet. But um, as of the end of May, I have already invoiced for like 90% of what I made in all of 2018. So um, that is how busy this first part of the year has been. And um, yeah, when I, I wrapped up a client project this morning, a smaller editorial thing, um, that will be out in a couple of weeks. Uh, sent that off to the client. And uh, after that, I am basically looking at no client work at all for the next couple of weeks. And uh, I am okay with that because of how busy things were. Um, and that's just kind of part of freelance life. But I wanted to be honest with you guys and just let you know that, yeah, it can be like crazy busy to where you can't keep up with it. And you guys know how stressed I've been the past few months. Um, and then all of a sudden, just boom, nothing. Over the next couple of weeks, assuming there isn't like a big client project that comes in and bumps those things, um, the, the two big things I want to do are, uh, finish getting ready for this Etsy shop relaunch. And then, um, after that, excuse me, uh, start working on some new plans for new sit down videos and then, um, plans for a new Skillshare class, um, or maybe even a couple of new Skillshare classes because we're getting close to the due date, my due date, um, about seven weeks away now. So, well, by the time you guys see this, it'll be like five weeks away, I think. Um, yes. So since that is coming up, uh, quicker and quicker, I want to get ready, uh, and have some content that's kind of ready to go. So, uh, starting to think about that, but yeah, basically Etsy and then, um, YouTube and Skillshare content. And, uh, this week I think I'm going to focus mostly on, um, mostly on Etsy stuff. And, uh, because that will involve some like packing and shipping, I still have to send the supplies to, um, my new shop manager. Uh, I'm also going to do some other things that involve packing and shipping. So I'm going to pack and ship the Patreon surprise packs. I'm going to send out some thank you packages to some of the bigger clients. The, um, I did several large packaging projects in the last few months. So I want to send some, um, some thank you things to those clients. And, uh, yeah, that, that should be mostly it for this week. The, um, the other thing related to that that I'm going to try to do, I'm going to try to do it today actually is unpack my new printer. So uh, this was in a vlog like about a month ago or so, I think, but my, um, my printer died. Uh, well, it didn't really die, but the driver stopped being <laughs> updated. And, uh, that meant that I couldn't get the fine art functions to work anymore. The fine art printing functions to work. So, uh, and that's fine. It had a good run. I've had it for several years. So it really was time for a new one anyway. And I ended up, um, I did in that vlog, I did put the printer that I ended up getting. I put it in the description box, but, um, I will mention it today that it is called the, it's another Pixma. It's the Pixma Pro 10, but it's the um, higher end version, the larger version than what I had before. And it's a, a pigment based printer. So I've been using dye based inks, which um, have their advantages. Everybody likes pigment based and, and pigment based does have uh, more longevity. Uh, but dye based, if it's taken care of, if it's used on good paper, um, also has plenty of longevity. It's like 90 years or something like that. And, um, the colors can be more vivid. So I'm, I'm going with pigment based since it seems to be what a lot of people are asking for, but I am a little bit nervous of, of whether the color is going to be as vivid as I like. So I'll be unpacking that today and hopefully running off some test prints. Um, 
And also I wanted to answer a question. Somebody had left a comment um, asking about why I was uh, why I was reopening Etsy and like had and I talked about moving away from that since their fees had gotten so high. And uh, yes, that is true. I did say that and that was my plan last year. Um, but at this point, the um, the Etsy platform, it's just easier for me to, to have a manager, um, someone else who's not me, if it's on Etsy, as opposed to showing them how to run uh, my shop on Squarespace. Because if I have them run my shop on Squarespace, I have to give them more access to like other parts of the website. And to be honest, I'm just like nervous that that will get messed up somehow. Um, Etsy, it's just, it's pretty easy that like I can have my, um, I can have it all hooked up to my bank account and my credit card. And, um, so that way, like all the shipping and stuff will go through that. And I can just give, uh, actually, I think, I think she can even create her own login info and then I can give her access to the shop. Uh, it's, it's, it's just going to be smoother. That's the reason why. And, uh, at this point in the last, you know, six or so weeks, I had realized that the choice was basically between not having any shop at all, because it's just not something that I can keep up with, um, or having somebody else run the shop. So, uh, it's not, it's not an ideal solution. I am still kind of disappointed about the giant Etsy fees. Um, but uh, I think it's going to be the best thing in the end. Um, that's the plan. We're going to unpack the printer now. beast I could barely pick that up it's like at least 50% bigger than my other one um, so yeah I needed to put it on this thing rather than on that small stand so um, gotta get it set up now so uh, it came with some luster paper which I'm excited to try I've always used matte paper um, but yeah I'll give it a I'll give it a go and see what it looks like like 11 40. Um, so I'm getting ready to wrap up the morning. The babysitter is at the park with Penelope right now. They'll probably be back within the next 15 or so minutes and then I'll go downstairs at noon. Uh, but I wanted to check in because I've basically just been working on the printer this whole time, getting it set up, getting it working. So before with my other printer, the company that makes my paper, the uh, Entrada, uh, Moab rather, they don't, um, they didn't have an ICC profile for the printer that I used previously. So um, this one they do, they did have that available. So I downloaded it and um, have just been trying to figure out like how exactly to work that and have been testing it and seeing how the color does. Um, this is going to be a longer process, uh, which is why when my Etsy shop relaunches, hopefully next week, or maybe even I have to look at the timing. It might even be on the day that you guys are watching this. Um, but whenever that does relaunch, I'm just going to be kind of selling off the existing stock of prints that I have. And then I'm going to give myself a little time to, um, to figure out what all I need to do with the, um, oh, all right, let's look at this here. This one just finished. All right. So this is pretty good, actually. Um, I don't know how much you'll build this. It's going to be washed out, but, uh, a problem I had with my last printer that I was always trying to work around and would have to tweak settings. Like I have all of the prints I would do for Etsy. I have those all kind of set aside and I have a, um, a document that has like what individual changes I made for the print settings for each print in order to get the color right. And I had to change a lot of things whenever there was an image that had a lot of blue in it because the blue would always print like way, uh, way too far towards the cyan side. I think that's how you say it, cyan. 
Um, and uh, this one, I just did the, um, the overall, I mean, I've, I've already made several tweaks that well, that I've been using on all of the prints, um, but there was no like specifically blue related tweak. Uh, and I think the color looks pretty good to me there. I'm gonna let it dry, um, step back for a little bit and then uh, maybe reevaluate later, but it's definitely way, way better than the blue from, um, from my other printer. <laughs> let me actually show you. The one that's in the cellophane bag is the one that was done with my other printer, just kind of on its default settings. And then this one, oh no, this is not going to show very well. Well, I'll just tell you guys, there's a big difference. The top one is like way, way too much cyan. The bottom one is much closer, pretty much exactly what the original is. So um, yeah, that's going to be nice. I think that will be... Uh, that in and of itself is going to be a, a huge bonus, just not having to worry so much about tweaking settings on every single print. I still will have some that I have to tweak individually, but I think I've mostly got the settings where I want them on the printer, have my ICC profile, um, and uh, have run off a bunch of uh, tests. I'll still have more to do before I launch my next round of prints, but we're off to a good start and the printer is working. Um, it's a little faster than I was hoping. Uh, the It's actually slower than my old printer, which kind of stinks, but um, to have one that was faster, I would have had to do dye-based ink again. And um, yeah, I just couldn't find one that this was the best. This was the best option that was a pigment based one. And um, it said it would take like three to five minutes to run an eight by 10. So um, it seems like it's a little faster than that. I'll have to time it, but uh, it's, it's okay because when I do have a print making day, I'll just like set it going off in the background and um, just pull off the prints as they come off and, and do other stuff at the same time. So here's one more test print I'll show you that I just ran off. So this one also turned out really well in terms of the color. It's hard to tell how, how well the color translates um, on the LCD of the camera, but I can tell you guys it's pretty much exactly like the original, which is nice. Uh, I'm gonna clean up my studio. Um, and then tomorrow, I, I, I am going to work more this afternoon. I have an afternoon babysitter coming, but I'm not sure if I'm going to vlog. Um, I may actually be painting this afternoon if I, um, if, if that works out timing wise. So um, we'll see. Uh, and if not, then tomorrow I'm going to be working on packing all this stuff. So packing up the, the thank you packs that are going out to some of my larger clients, the um, existing Etsy stock is existing excuse me, Etsy inventory that's going out to my shop manager. And then um, also all of these Patreon surprise packs. So that is all happening tomorrow um, and you guys will be there for it. So I will either see you then or see you later this afternoon. <laughs>
prepping and packing um, some of the Patreon surprise packs. It's basically like a packing and shipping morning. Um, well, although I did also paint for like an hour. Yes, so I have done the Patreon uh, packs, so those are ready to go. Uh, I put stamps on them, but I'm still going to bring them to the post office just to make sure I have enough postage on there since it's a little bit different every time. Uh, and even though like I've weighed them on my own scale and I still have had things come back in sufficient postage. So uh, I just like to go to the post office and make sure. And then I am also um, putting together, I can't show you um, this because the, the work is still um, NDA'd, but I'm sending out two kind of big uh, thank you packages to some of the clients that I worked on the big packaging projects for um, this spring, two of those clients rather. Uh, I decided as a thank you that I wanted to send them some of the original paintings. So I'm just in the process of uh, signing those right now. That's why I'm looking down. Um, and then I'll get them all packaged up. That So that'll be two kind of like large envelopes, I think. Actually, on that note, I need to make sure these are going to fit just barely. Okay. I think I'm going to have to trim some of these up <laughs> beforehand, just to get rid of like a quarter inch to make sure that they will fit okay in the envelope. Um, and then I also have to package up the box of stuff, um, the box of inventory that's going to Bethany um, for with all the Etsy stuff. So that is the plan for the rest of today. I also, um, and then of course, uh, this afternoon I'll go to the gym with Penelope. I'll probably work while she naps, all of that. Um, I'm just pulling up Instagram here because there was something I wanted to show you guys. Uh, my friend Thomas, the one whose song I had in, what is it, like two or three vlogs ago? Um, he got a tattoo of one of my illustrations and it, it's funny because we haven't talked about this before. He and I haven't talked about this before, but he got a single needle tattoo, which is like the really, really tiny, um, very delicate looking ones. And that's the kind that I want to. Um, so, uh, yeah, that was just kind of funny, but anyway, I'm going to show you right here. So yeah, he got, uh, this B tattooed. So in focus. And then that's my illustration that it was based off of. So, I thought that was so cool. It's the first time anybody has gotten like a direct tattoo of one of my illustrations. I've had people, um, I've had people be like generally inspired by them and do the, the same subject matter that was in an illustration, but never like the actual illustration. So, um, and monochrome tattoo is the name of the tattoo artist. So I'll put his link, um, or their link, actually, I actually don't know. Um, I'll put their link in the description box as well as um, a link to my friend Thomas. I think, I'm guessing just based off of how much I've recorded, that there's actually enough footage for a vlog, even though it's just been a couple of days. Um, the, the main stuff that's gonna happen tomorrow, I'm gonna take stuff to the post office, um, if I'm able to, I'll do some more painting. Um, but kind of like all of the, the shipping and packing and, uh, all that stuff has pretty much been wrapped up by today. Oh, <laughs> the other thing I would do tomorrow if I'm able to is finish updating Etsy listings. Actually, that will be a higher priority than, than painting. Um, so yeah, not much exciting in the way of things to see tomorrow. So I think I might just wrap up uh, the vlog here. Thank you so much to everybody who watched this video. Uh, thank you for liking and commenting and sharing. And uh, whether it's on this video or another one, you guys doing that um, really helps the channel grow and helps other people find videos. So um, I can't thank you enough for that. And then of course, thank you to my patrons who um, have made it possible for us to have weekly videos by hiring me a video editor. And uh, thank you to that wonderful video editor, Meg. Um, you are amazing. And yes, all of you are amazing for watching. I hope everybody has an amazing week. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.